Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make sweet meringues which are a zero point dessert, so which is brilliant because um, if you um, have these with fruit, maybe like a teaspoon of honey, you can have like a one point dessert which is absolutely delicious. So, um, what we've done, I've preheated my oven to 150, so quite a low oven. Um, and then mainly because I'm so ashamed of the state of my baking tray, I've pre-lined and um, sprayed with um, some cooking spray. Um, I didn't have a sheet of baking paper, so I only had these um, ones that I use for my cakes. So I've just put them on there. So you spray the tin, then you pop the uh, baking sheet on, and then you spray the top of the baking sheet. So it doesn't really matter how much of that you use. I find them more than you have, really. Okay, so we're going to take two eggs. We just want the whites, so I will show you how to do this just in case you're a complete novice. Now watch me go wrong because I'm showing off. But I'm going to need another bowl, bear with. So we won't waste the uh, egg yolks because I can use them to make some custard or something later on, but it's the whites that we're after. So if you break your egg and then... This was how my cookery teacher, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Oh God, I was going to say Mrs. Mann, but she was my sewing teacher. I can't remember my cookery teacher's name, but this was how she showed me to do it. So obviously, clean hands before you do that, and I'll just show you one more time. So you break break your egg, easy does it, and then let most of the white run out. And then I just pop it into my hand, pop the yolk into my hand and let the rest run through my fingers. Okay, so there we should have in that bowl two egg whites. Okay, by the magic of YouTube, my whisk has suddenly appeared because while I was washing my hands, I suddenly remembered to get it out of the drawer. And into a clean bowl, I'm going to put um, my two egg whites. It might seem obvious to say clean bowl, but it does have to be clean, it does have to be dry, or else you're not going to get the um, lift that you need. You can do this with an electric mixer, but I actually find that it's much easier to do it by hand, um, and I'll give you some little tips on how to do that. Into this mixture, we just want a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now, I, I struggle to find this, but then finally in Sainsbury's, it comes like this in little sachets. And each sachet is one teaspoon. So I'm, being the guesser that I am, I'm going to have to be very, um, very careful here and just pop into that mixture uh, what I believe to be a quarter of a teaspoon. The cream of tartar um, actually helps with the rise um, of the meringues. So it is an important recipe, can't miss it out. Um, just a little sprinkling of salt. So I'm just gonna, it says an eighth of a teaspoon. I wouldn't even know what that looked like. So I'm just gonna give it a little twist like that. I think that should be enough. And um, this is interesting because I just found this when I went to buy the recipe today. Um, I found this um, sugar substitute which is candorel, but it's got a lovely um, crunchy texture to it. Normally with candorel, um or those granulated sweeteners, they're really light and they, you know, they're almost as light as air and they're very hard to bake with. But this seems to be sort of pound for pound what you would get for sugar. So um, I don't know how well you can see that, but it really is granulated. So we're going to mix, get that into the mix just a little bit at a time. So what we do is we start off um, by just lift, getting some lift into this um, into these egg whites. And the way I do that, I just start gently uh, getting to getting a mix. Um, but what I do is I just take a small bit of the mixture at a time and I whisk that. So if you watch what I do, I move it away from the main mix and then I whisk it um, on its own. You'll sort of see what I mean as, as it starts to come together. And it does happen very quickly. for here is a nice foamy texture 
I can feel that's still quite loose, so I'm going to carry on for another little bit. Okay, seems to be quite good. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add some sugar. You just add this a little, little bit at a time, so again, I always estimate how much I need to add. You can spoon it in or spit it into thirds or quarters, whatever suits your style. It's also a great exercise for your arms, you've been going in, so. And ultimately, what you're looking for is stiff peaks, so. I'm going to keep going now with the rest of this mixture so I'll come back to you when I'm almost okay. there. So this is what we call stiff peaks. So nice. I don't know if you can see into that bowl there. But it should stay in the bowl if you put it above your head. <laughs> Take a bit of a risk there. Um, and now what we're going to do is to spoon that mixture onto our baking tray into even size lumps. We'll grab a spoon. Okay, so. Um, these will spread in the oven, so we're going to try and make them fairly even in size. Doesn't matter because once you start stuffing them in your mouth, it, <laughs> it all tastes the same anyway. Um, there's going to be enough of this mixture to make probably, what does it sound there? It says make 16 actually, but I'm not going to be making 16. They must be making really small ones, but I want some big ones. I'm going to cook these, I'll just do those six for now um, and I'll cook those on another tray, maybe I'll make some smaller ones as well. So they look nice, so fingers crossed that they work well in the oven, they take um, 18 to 20 minutes in that um, 150 oven, so be back soon. Okay, so here they are back out the oven. I must say I'm really proud of these ones. The last time I made them, they went completely flat and awful. Um, I've left them to cool, um, and, put, well, and what that does, that gives them a nice crispy um, outside, so they should be nice and soft on the inside, chewing and crispy on the outside. Mine didn't take 18 minutes. I took them out the oven after about 14, so you're gonna have to know your oven quite well, but do keep an eye on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice, very low point, low pro point, not pro point, even smart point um, dessert. So um, I'm going to take one of the um, meringues, just break it so I can just show you the inside there. So lovely and soft on the inside, nice and crispy on the outside. I'm going to pop, break that up into my bowl. And then mm, yum. on top of that, I'm going to spoon half a uh, Weight Watchers yogurt. So that's just gonna be one point. And then I'm just gonna have two of these lovely pears in, uh, these are actually in pear juice, just from the local co-op, so. And there you have it. Beautiful one point dessert, lovely for those sweet toothed among you. Happy eating. <laughs>